Ah, right, don't see any poo here. Oh, hey, uh, excuse me, hello. Yeah, you. Uh, <clears throat> whoa, <laughs> friendly type. I'm looking for some poo. I know it sounds pretty strange, but... <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> red. Red. I don't like red. <clears throat> I hate red. Go away. Whoa. Take it, he doesn't like red. What? I don't see anything red around. Oh. Here we go again. Now, this part of the game can be... It's fun, but it can be hard in this version, I must say. Especially with the way the poo balls are... Just the way they work in this version. And because of the free camera. In Bad Fur Day, there are a lot of fixed camera positions. And because of that, it sort of made it easier plus it, you had a sort of side-scrolling element going up to the top there but because this game entirely focuses on a free camera for movement it can be pretty hard and not very enjoyable I normally don't have trout I normally don't have problems but you'll find yourself getting hurt a lot if you're not careful so if you're low on health, just restock on some chocolate. And one thing you should do is not run on the field here because Mr. Bull over there is gonna hurt ya. So, refill your health. And let's make our way back up there. Now, let's see if we can get up there this time. I would say you'd need you'd need perfect timing. Well, not perfect, but you'd need really good timing because those poo balls in this version can really change things. So you got to be very careful. But thankfully, you can actually walk around up there, so sliding off isn't a problem. So just fly over there, hop onto the barrel, refill your health, and not run that way, but run this way. Now, logic would denote that something that drinks that is gonna get the screaming squits. Hmm. Ah, that looks distinctly like a target. And there we have a bowl. Yes. I think I get it. Now we have to try to make it down as safely as we can because we can die if we fall the way down there, so we have to make our way down step by step. Now, our goal now is, as you're probably guessing, is to hit that target. But how we hit that target? Well, I think it might have something to do with this bowl right here. Yeah, I think that works just nice. <laughs> Now that could be useful. Right, this looks like it needs a little bit more hands-on control. He's a bit of a wild one. Mm, that time again, is it? Oh, I see Bugalugs is out here again. Oh, well. oh, that's a nice little patch. I think I'll have a little bit of grass. Moo. Need to get her over there somehow. Hmm. As you can probably guess now, we have entered a boss fight, in a sense, yes. Well, yeah, I guess so. Well, so we have to make our way over to the wooden giant target over there, and we have to try to make the bowl run into the target. So you pretty much have to stand in front of the target, and then the bowl will charge at it. But you have to make sure it's he's positioned well, so he goes straight into the target. That way his horns get stuck, and you can get on it. So, to, now you have to press B to ram into the cow to move on to the next step. Oh, stop your nonsense, young man. Goodness me. I've quite lost my appetite now. I'm going to go gonna go for a little meander over here. Hmm. Actually, I feel a bit thirsty. A nice little beverage should wash this tasty grass down lovely like. This looks quite nice. Looks to be cranberry flavoured. Lovely. Ooh. <laughs> Hmm, taste bits hot. 
You never know. Looks like he's just about ready to go. Now with the cow positioned, we ram at her one more time. And that's essentially all you really have to do. After you knock the cow, uh, the bull will knock you off of him, and then you just pretty much ha you pretty much just have to repeat the process two more times and pretty basic. Originally, in bad, in the original Bad Fur Day, you would, before the cow would go to the prune juice, like the second cow, you would have to ram into that cow two times, and then it would go to the prune juice. And with the third one, you'd have to ram into the cow three times. But they, they reduced it so you only have to ram into the cow once, so it's pretty simple this time around. Now, just ram into the cow again. The cow goes over to the prune juice. And then, now we just pretty much just have to circle the track because if you go anywhere near the water or off the track, whatever, I don't know, then you will be knocked out. Well, you'll be knocked off and then you'll lose. So, yeah. So, just wait and charge once more without missing. And now we just have to repeat the process once more and then we're done. Yeah. Well, I have to say that I had a I had an all right Christmas. It wasn't any snow unfortunately. Kind of upsetting. I really love snow. I really love winter. It's probably my favorite season. I don't know, I just... For me, winter is a really beautiful season. I mean, you get, you have all this snow, and if, just looking at some untouched landscapes at, in winter, where there are no footprints or anything, it, it, and like snow covering trees and all that, it's, it's just so beautiful to look at, I have to say. But I got some cool things for Christmas, such as that Zelda 3DS that I showed off in that video I made a few days ago or so. Well, actually, just about a week ago. <laughs> yeah, the, the 3DS is pretty awesome. I already had a copy of Ocarina of Time 3D, so I kept the one that's that I got with the bundle still in the box. And I actually got Mario Kart 7 a few days, well, earlier this week, and it, it's a lot of fun. The online is really great in comparison with Mario Kart DS, and I'm, I'm very satisfied with it. I'm really looking forward to Animal Crossing, Paper Mario, and um, the NES and GBA Game Boy Advance games once they're available to everyone. Because those... I don't know. I was kind of hoping that I would get the... 3DS earlier on. But I had a feeling once I... learned about the Ambassador titles after the price drop that I knew I wasn't going to get the, the... thing. Well, one more hit. Such a fat bat. Hmm. Seems to be filled up with poo. Ah, that should do it. 
Well, what do you know? The place is now flooded. We must now make our way over to an area where we must press the B. Confidence pill. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> ah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I feel a lot more confident. Yeah. Won't need these anymore. And if I'm a lot more confident, then I should be able to swim on the water now. Hmm. How would I do that? Let's see. Press B. And that should submerge me. Bam! Once I'm on the water, use the left thumbstick to move. And the right thumbstick to rotate. You got that? I have to say that it is easier to swim in this version of the game, but it will take a bit to get used to the controls, but it's not too hard. So now that we can swim underwater, yay, we can get that remaining money that we didn't get before. Yay! Somebody get me! Here I am, you greedy bastard! <gasps> Yeah, more fun do we. And now it is time to leave Pooh Cabin. Make your way to the exit at the bottom of the area which you will fall through and make your way back to the entrance. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Yeah, there it is, over there. Big ball of poo. Oh, thanks. You're welcome to it, mate. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> now, I'm sure if you enjoyed that one mini game in Mario Party where you got to roll snowballs around into people, then I'm sure you're gonna enjoy rolling poo balls in this game. Now, we basically just have to make our way along the side here with one poo ball, kill any armored imps along the way. We might as well just kill all of them right here just to make our path easier. Get back to the poo ball and roll her up the hill. Now the sign says no poo balls, but I think we're gonna make an exception just so we can complete the game. Hey. We're just going to leave Pooh Mountain for a moment and press this button down here. Hmm. I wonder what it does. Now the path to the right over there will actually take us to the next chapter, uh, Bat's Tower, except we're gonna skip ahead and get ready for the one after that. Just because I'm sure everybody wants to see the one thing that everybody loves in this game. Yay, Bat glitch again. So now we take Pooh Ball number two and take the outer path right here and this will take us along the mountain for the first time because before we were at the base but now we're going up the mountain now the thing about this is that we have to avoid the dung beetles along the path here because they will squash you if you are in their line of sight or just right underneath them so you just keep rolling up you know just minding your own business just rolling up Try not to get hit. And you'll run into a giant one right here. Oh. 
Now we can make our way over to the last poo ball. So we just make our way down the mountain. Uh, trying not to get hurt. And then this time we have to roll the second ball of poo right by the entrance, well, the blocked off entrance to the inside of the mountain right there. So let's pick up this small ball of poo and just start rolling up right here at the lower end of the mountain. And much like before, just avoid the dung beetles and all that. Just make your way up, you know, just rolling along. Man, just rolling up, you can see all the detail in the environment. It's a real spectacle to look at. I, I mean, this game has its different moments, but it has some beautiful environments in the updated version. Heck, even in the original, some of the areas look pretty cool. Despite the graphic quality not being as good, but still really nice. Yeah, we're gonna need to restock on chocolate. So, just about there. Now, now we jump on top of the poo ball here because there is money on top of the mountain. Somebody get me! Hey, where the f you been? You change your bastard? And now we have $700, which is pretty rad, I must say. So, now is our chance to push the poo ball down the mountain. And now we're done. Unfortunately, we can't go down to the bottom of the mountain through there, but oh well. So because we've done everything we need to do with the poo balls, none let none more will appear. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I well, I hope you have a happy 2012. See ya.